Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. As students begin to move back into their homes on the UNO campus, they're learning about a new law that affects them. That is, if they find themselves involved with alcohol. WOWT 6 News' Brandon Scott joins us from the UNO campus. Brandon? Hey there, John and Mallory. As you know, UNO is a dry campus, meaning no alcohol allowed for anyone, even folks that are over 21 years old. And it's also against the rules to go off campus and party and then stumble home drunk. But that is the rules. This new law addresses the reality. Yesterday at UNO Scott Village, 18 year old Brandon Hefling was among the hundreds of freshmen who moved onto campus. I've been ready for this since freshman year of high school, so I'm really excited to be here. But like most parents who send their kids to college, Brandon's mother, Deanna, has her concerns, especially when it comes to underage drinking, even though alcohol isn't allowed. I worry about the, the party aspects and things like that. It's the whole new atmosphere, and I went to college, I know what happens, so. <laughs> In the past, it may be that uh, if people were out and drinking, somebody had way too much to drink to the point they needed medical attention. Others who were with them may have recognized, wow, that guy or that gal needs some help. But if I call, I'm going to be in trouble with the police or I'm going to be in trouble with the university. Philip Covington is the director of student conduct at UNO, where a new alcohol policy is now in place. Its aim to protect students from alcohol overdoses, since many students will drink regardless of the rules. Uh, somebody who's acting in that role of Good Samaritan who recognizes either themselves or another person in distress because of alcohol, if they call and summon EMS response, stay there until the emergency responders arrive. They're cooperative all the way through that process. It's entirely likely that they're not going to end up with a ticket uh, for being a minor in possession, for example. UNO's policy is modeled after a new law passed by the Nebraska legislature, granting protection to any underage drinker who acts as a good Samaritan. They're going to document that you were there. This week, while Covington is educating students on alcohol responsibility, these upperclassmen are getting lessons in CPR, which could save the life of an underage drinker who stops breathing. First and foremost, our concern is about the, the health and safety of our students. Nebraska's Good Samaritan law goes into effect at the end of uh, at the end of this month. But at UNO, the policy is in effect now, and this isn't something new or unique to uh, to this this part of the country. In fact, 21 other states and the District of Columbia have similar laws already. On the books. Now stick around because coming up at 6:30, John and Mallory, we're going to have more here from UNO, including a new policy that is meant to make all students feel welcome. All right, thanks, Brandon. And we do have a local.